Have you ever dreamed of watching the Earth rise from the moon, viewing our home planet from Earth's constant companion? Humans returning to the moon and exploring it? There's new interest in lunar exploration, and in some future, we will likely see astronauts walking on the moon again. The moon is uh, still very interesting for many reasons. First of all, it is a history book of our own planet. Uh, therefore, um, scientifically, it would be extremely important to look at the moon. Secondly, moon can be a very important stepping stone to the further robotic and human exploration um, of our solar systems. An important step in human exploration will be to send humans to the moon for extended periods. To prepare for this, we need lunar analogs. Analogs are facilities on Earth that simulate environmental, habitational, operational, and or psychological conditions associated with human moon missions. Analogs are essential tools used to prepare for such extended missions. The LUNA study, which was initiated by ESA, identifies gaps in European analog capacity and presents concepts for new analogs that can fill those gaps. The outcome of the LUNA study is a concept for an analog which is called the European Surface Operations Laboratory, ESOL. ESOL mimics aspects of the real lunar environment and of lunar habitation within a controlled laboratory space. The goal of ESOL is to prepare and train for future human and human robotic missions on the Moon. Yes, I do believe that we need uh, Moon analogs uh, on Earth, uh, both to develop operational scenarios and concepts and to test them, uh, to verify if they really work, to test their robustness, and of course eventually to train the astronauts. That's what we do today for the ISS, right? We train in, uh, in mock-ups and uh, those facilities are very much used uh, to, to plan and to develop procedures and to train ground personnel as well, but of course also to train the crew members who are gonna go to the space station. So uh, eventually uh, we're gonna need to develop something similar for a, a moon environment and the scenario of a moon mission. The European Surface Operations Laboratory, ESOL, could be this European analog. It's designed for planning, simulating, and testing future human spaceflight operations on the moon. It's proposed that ESOL be built at the European Astronaut Center, EAC, in Cologne. There, it would profit from EAC's existing facilities and operational expertise, as well as synergies with other local facilities. DLR's Envihab is a new, highly sophisticated medical research facility near the EAC. Envihab makes it possible to study the psychological and physiological effects of diverse environmental conditions that humans are exposed to in space. Envihab has a variety of labs and equipment such as a human centrifuge and conducts long-duration bed rest studies and isolation campaigns. In synergy with Envihab, SHE, a two-person self-deployable habitat, is proposed as part of ESOL to enable crew isolation campaigns and the study of human factors and issues of habitability on long-duration moon missions. In the ESOL concept, SHE is connected to a full motion simulator via a node. The full motion simulator would simulate driving on challenging and unknown lunar terrain and exploring the moon on long traverses in a pressurized vehicle. A suit port would allow the crew to exit from inside the habitation area onto the simulated lunar surface. This would enable a suited astronaut to train and validate exploration tasks on the lunar surface, such as collecting soil samples, installing scientific hardware, or performing maintenance and repairs in a regolith testbed filled with simulated lunar soil. On this testbed, scientists and engineers could study and optimize ways for humans and robots to work together in this challenging environment. A critical aspect is communication and decision-making between mission control on the Earth and the team on the Moon comprising humans and robots. An area for in situ resource utilization, or ISRU, would be located adjacent to the regolith testbed. This ISRU area would make it possible to experiment with new methods and test the operational aspects of using moon resources to make missions more affordable. One example is the 3D printing of equipment or even a lunar base using lunar soil. Water and oxygen could also be extracted from the lunar regolith. 
given that we typically don't have large amounts of real lunar dust, one of the things you uh, want to have on ground is uh, a so-called simulant, which is uh, materials mixed together from earth materials that quite closely mimic what you have on the moon. Now you have to know that the moon is also not uniform as the earth is not uniform. You have different environments, you have different regolith compositions and this is something you would really like to test before so you get some indication how much variation you have to expect on the real moon. The regolith test bed would include a robotic system that allows a simonaut in an EVA training suit to walk and move on a dusty lunar surface as one would find in a real lunar mission under lunar gravity conditions or one-sixth of the Earth's gravity. This is a unique element of the proposed ESOL facility, filling a worldwide gap in analog capability. Partial gravity offloading in combination with a regolith simulant test bed would allow future astronauts to train surface operations under highly realistic lunar gravity conditions. A large rover testbed of 1,000 square meters would also be located close to the EAC to provide the terrain for the simulation of more extended rover activities. The ESOL concept also features a local mission control center using a control room in the EAC. From there, flight controllers and trainers would simulate working remotely with the crew just as in a real mission. The Mission Control Center would also serve as an interaction point for the public to witness mission simulations. Erecting analogs with uh, a visible scenery that, that um, depicts the situation like you would have on, on Moon and Mars, you also bring a footprint of this strange uh, surface back to Earth that the public can, can see, that the public can get an impression about because the, the largest obstacle we have for such missions is to, to gain enough public support, to, to gain the political support to uh, equip such a mission. And uh, to be as visible as possible is helping along that way. So if we want to do this by the 2025 time frame, the time to start is now. And this is exactly what ESA is doing. We have preparatory programs for the Moon. We are presenting a lunar uh, program uh, in an evolved stage, so in, in further development for the Ministerial in 2016. And of course, if ESC, we want to be part of that, we need to be ready now. We need to make the studies now and we need to start building up the capabilities now so that when this will happen in 10 years from now, ESC is fully ready to support those missions. Analogs are essential tools for preparing human and human robotic missions on the Moon. The proposed European Surface Operations Laboratory, ESOL, would be a unique analog facility in Europe, incorporating many elements that close gaps in existing analog capacity. At the same time, ESOL would profit from the expertise and facilities at and near the European Astronaut Center in Cologne.